So this here is a video on how to paint noise marines. So as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six finished marines, uh, five with sonic blasters and one with a blast master. So we're going to show you how we painted these up. They're basically just the old Chaos Space Marine kit with the Sonic Marine upgrades from um, Games Workshop. So if you like the way these look and if you're interested in having similar sets, feel free to stay tuned and I will show you how we got um, this look and how we uh, we built this up. And um, yeah, stay tuned and we will see you in a few minutes. So this here is a video on how to paint noise marines. Now we did do a set of noise marines about a year ago um, and I did like how they turned out but we've gotten a little bit better at painting since then so I wanted to kind of see how the new ones would turn out compared to the previous ones. So what we did here is we started with the noise marine which is just the old style chaos space marine with the the um, games workshop resin uh, sonic blaster um, kit added to it. So what we've got here is basically just that. And what we did first is we primed him with Chaos Black spray paint. And that just gave us our base coat. And that's sort of where we're starting from now. The first thing we're gonna do with our Noise Marine is we're going to start with the armor and paint it up uh, with Nagaroth Knight. So we're gonna do basically the arm and gauntlet uh, leaving the gloves black probably. I'll see how it looks. We'll do the uh, the leg and the sort of the thigh and the shin please. The shoulder pads. The head I'm going to treat as if it's uncovered. So we'll see how what we can do there. And then the backpack we'll do purple as well. So we'll do a little bit of that. Meet back here in a few minutes when that's done. So this is our noise marines after we've done our base with Nagaroth Knight. And as you can see there's a little bit more purple now as a base color on the arms, the legs, the shoulder pads, as well as the backpack. Um, so what we're going to do now is lighten that up. That's our base layer. And we're going to take a little bit of Zerius Purple and just dry brush that lightly right across all of that uh, purple base coat that we've got there now with the Nagaroth Knight. So we'll do that now and we'll meet back here in a few moments. So this is our Noise Marine after we've done our layer of Xerxes Purple. And what we're going to do now is take a little bit of Gene Stealer Purple just over the top with a very, very dry brush. And just hit the highlights of the model uh, just to add one more little highlight layer of purple to the model before we move on. So make sure you brush it really, really dry so there's almost nothing left. And then just down sweep slightly on the highlights. Uh, coming from the top where the light would be coming from and we're going to do that now and meet back here again in a few moments So this is our noise Marines now that we've finished with the Gene Stealer purple and as you can see now the face has a two-tone effect as Well as the arms the backpack as well. It has a lighter on the top fading down into darker on the bottom So what we've got here is our purple pretty much finished now So we're going to move on to a new color so with our new color, what we're going to do is start doing the trim. So we're going to start that with Retributor Armor as a base. And we're going to start going along all of the trim on the shoulder pads, as well as the horns, as well as the backpack, as well as the um, trim along the legs and the shins. So we'll do all that now, the shoulder pads and such. We'll meet back here in a few moments. So this is our Noise Marine now that we finished with our Retributor Armor. And as you can see, it's really brought out the details of the resin um, Sonic Marine upgrades. So you can see the speaker with the face on it on the shoulder pad and it's really stood out here. It'll stand out even better when we do a wash and then all of the rest of the trim we've done with gold that will be going gold. Normally we wash this with Agrax Earthshade or even Seraphim uh, Sepia. It's one of those uh, colors to bring out the gold but in this case, we were going for something a little darker. So we're gonna wash it with Nulin Oil. But before we do that, uh, we may as well do the metallics because that gets the same wash. So we're gonna take a layer of Lead Belcher. And what we're gonna do is start going over the uh, Sonic uh, weaponry, as well as all of the tubes, the uh, cabling, as well as the rest of the trim on the backpack. 
So we'll do everything that goes metallic with the lead belcher now, and then we'll meet back here after and we'll start looking at washes, um, as well as all the chain mail that goes down there as well. So we'll do that and we'll meet back here in a few more minutes. So this is our noise marine now that we finished with the metallics. So we've got our lead belcher base on, on the sonic blasters. We came back and we had a little bit of gold just on the snout of the gun here. And then we also did the aerator around the face. So what we're going to do now is the rest of the face and try to finish that up before we come back and finish the metallics just because of the overlap and how complicated each color is to fix. So we'll do the face next and the face is going to get a base coat of Rackarth Flesh. So we'll do that now on the face of all of our units as well as any skulls that are lying around but I don't think there are any. Uh, so we'll do that here and we'll meet back in a few minutes once that base layer is finished. So this is our noise marine now that we finished with the Rackarth Flesh. And as you can see, we've done the head. So what we're going to do now is shade just that with some Reekland Flesh Shade. And we'll put it right over a nice light coat. Just to add a little bit of detail. Just like that. So I'll allow that to dry and we'll meet back here in a few more moments. So now that our noise marines heads have dried, um, what we're going to do is take a base coat of Rackarth Flesh again and start adding some highlights to this. So with the same base coat we had originally, we're just going to dry brush on that base coat again. Just getting the raised areas like that, so in front of the brow, and the edges of the forehead there. So we'll wait for that to dry and we'll move on to the next layer. So this is our noise marine now that we finished with the face. So what we're going to do here is start shading the metallics again. So we're going to do the gold and the silver. We're going to do them both with Newell and Oil. And we're just going to give a nice generous coat uh, so we can get a lot more highlight detail out of it. So we'll do that now we'll meet back here in a moment. So this is our noise marine now that the shades have dried. And so what we're going to do now is just start adding a new highlight layer back up. So we're going to highlight over all of the metallic using Iron Breaker. And we're going to highlight over most of the gold using some Liberator Gold. And those two will brighten that back up. And then we'll move on from there. Uh, but we're almost finished at that point. We'll just have some wiring and cables to do. So we'll do that and we'll meet back here in a few moments. So with our noise marine now dry, we're going to start to do some of these cables that are going here. And with that, we'll probably put them fairly bright blue. We'll use maybe a Lothran blue. And with a detail brush, we'll just pick a couple of these cables and we'll add some color to them. Something like that. So we'll do that for maybe a few of the other cables around. And then we'll meet back here afterwards. So here's our finished marines. So we did finish with the blue. We did the extra cables. We put a dab of Newell oil in each of the eyes. 
we did Zandri dust on the base just to um, match it with the sand that we flocked with. And then we put the top knots white on uh, the scattered marines that happen to have the top knots with a little bit of gold trim, which was Retributor armor. So that's pretty much it. Um, so that's the end of our video. Uh, if you found these videos helpful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment, as I said. Please feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. And um, otherwise than that, we will see you at our next video.